crew's performance and accomplishments were the catalyst behind the Mountaineers' success in the late 1980s, culminating with 26 wins in his senior season. Direct your attention, please, to the video boards as we meet Daryl Pru. Daryl Pru was one of the top forwards in the Atlantic 10 Conference, earning Atlantic 10 first team honors in 1989. During his career, the Mountaineers posted an 89 and 38 record with three NCAA tournament appearances and one NIT appearance. The Washington, D.C. native scored 1,426 points during his career, which currently ranks 20th all time. Prue still ranks second in career field goal percentage and 11th in career rebounds. In 1989, Prue was the Atlantic 10 field goal percentage leader at 63.3%, while leading the Mountaineers to an A-10 regular season championship. The Mountaineers had the nation's longest winning streak that season at 22 games. As a freshman, Prue was named the A-10 Freshman of the Year and to the A-10 All-Freshman Team. He was twice named Atlantic 10 Freshman of the Week. In 1987, as a sophomore, Prue earned three Atlantic 10 Player of the Week honors and was named to the Atlantic 10 All-Conference Second Team at the end of the season. He was named to the A-10 Second Team in 1988 and was twice named Atlantic 10 Player of the Week as a senior for earning A-10 First Team honors. Prue is a member of the 1986 through 95 WBU All-Time Basketball Team. Prue received a bachelor's degree in physical education from WBU. Please join us in a round of applause for 2019 inductee, Daryl Prue. Daryl Prue, welcome to the WBU Sports Hall of Fame. Well, one thing y'all didn't do is, uh, which I kind of miss when I scored or I get announced. Can someone do it? Prove. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was born at first, my freshman year. I didn't know you were saying prove. Um, congratulations to everyone on stage and thank you to everybody on the, the committee on the committee that helped me uh, achieve this wonderful award. Um, I have a few stories from people who are here and no longer here. Uh, I want to thank my old high school coach, Jody Davidson and Johnny Walker. <laughs> my grandfather, Jay Wallace. <laughs> coach Gary McPherson. At my junior year in high school, we were, my high school was ranked number one in the country. And Gary McPherson was at maybe 10 to 14 games that year. And I was Figuring out why is this guy here? He was recruiting another uh, man, on our, a young man on our team named Sean Alvarado. <laughs> but he was such a nice man. We would always talk, and I was kind of naive about the recruiting stuff then. And then my senior year, him and Coach Kelly came in and had this spiel about coming to West Virginia. Uh, but I was pressured to go somewhere else, which I didn't end up going, and I ended up in the summertime getting released from my commitment and uh, to take my visit here. And they wanted me to put me on one of these little private prop planes, which I was not going to fly on. And if I had to come here on one of those planes, Coach Catholic, you would have not got me here. Um, so they sent Coach Ford to come and get me. Coach Ford drove to D.C. because he loved D.C., he's from D.C. He came down and, and uh, picked me up, drove me through all the mountains we got here and I never took another visit. I never took another visit. Uh, UNLV was coming in hard after me. At the time they were hot and it was getting guys that was getting put off teams and transferring. And my grandfather was like, well, it's too far for me to come see you play. And, and during, also during that process, Coach Cat wasn't recruiting me, he was recruiting my grandparents. Uh, he was, I would, go to my grandparents' house and he's there talking to them instead of talking to me. I think I was the one that had to sign the paper and play. Um, you know, it's, it's, you know, I have to thank my teammates. You know, Herbie Brooks is here. Uh, Chris Brooks, Steve Berger. Uh, that whole senior year was great. Uh, you know, to be remembered 30 years later, I still get messages on my, on my Facebook page talking about 
uh, Duke cheated y'all in the <laughs> NCAA tournament in 1989. Uh, it was, it was a bad call. It was a bad call. Uh, and uh, it just, my grandmother wasn't making, couldn't make it today, but she's, I'm sure she's watching. She's at home sick. Uh, Coach Ford couldn't make it. Uh, and, you know, I just wanted to thank everybody that's here, all my family, my sisters, my cousin, uh, Lynette, and my daughter, Chloe, uh, for, for coming here and supporting. And my cousin, Brian, who's been there through everything. Um, Again, uh, Coach Cadillac, I got mad at you one time in my whole career here, and I got mad at you for putting me at center my junior year. I wanted to say something, but I waited 30 years. Uh, yeah, I didn't like that, Coach. <laughs> yeah, coach still thinks he's in charge of me. He, he tells me to take off my jacket, sit over here, let's go over there. I told him it's my day, so I'm gonna do what I want to do today. <laughs> yeah, coach Cadillac has been like a father figure to me. One story that sticks out. My grandfather, about 14, 15 years ago, got really sick. And Coach Kelly was in D.C. to come meet, meet up with me for a dinner or something. I told him uh, my, my grandfather was sick and not doing well. He said, what's the address? I sent him the address. Again, he's there before me. So he was there, and I walked in the house, and this picture would never leave my, never leave my brain. They were hugging each other with my grandfather's chest, I me mean, head on his chest, and that that right there just took a you know the meaning of everything of what coaching is supposed to be. You know, 30 years later, they still send Christmas cards, birthday cards to my grandma. I get a Christmas card too, and a birthday card, and they write in it. I know it's a niece. I know it's not you, Coach. I know, it's, I know it's the lovely wife is right in it. And I think that's a special. And that's what I try to convey to my students at, at, at this day, day and time. And uh, I just wanted to thank everybody for being here, supporting. My T.C. William coaching staff is back there. Yeah. And, I, and uh, I don't know if it's Coach Hugg. I saw him earlier. So Coach Huggs called me when I got the job at T.C. Williams and muscled me to hire Tyrone Sally. He's hopefully a future Hall of Famer. So this Tyrone Sally played here a few years ago. So uh, it's all family, WVU family. So thank you, everyone, for being here. Thank you all for having me up here. Let's go, Mountaineers.